What I might do instead before I paint those is go ahead and cut the piece that's going to fit over there. Uh, we measured this and tried to make it square. I hope we did. Well, that's just 48 inches right there, so that's uh, actually this should fit right in between those. That's 48 inches. Hmm. So let's see if it is. Uh, then all we have to do is make one cut across the back. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to I'm going to back the trailer up to this, pull one off of here, slide it onto there, and if need be, we can cut it right on that trailer. I'm just let's see if I can do this without spilling y'all. Be kind of neat, kind of easy. If that'll go between these and that other one, it should go between that and over there. I thought it looked like it was going to be about let's see on top of that, but it may not. We're going about two minutes here, won't we? Fit right there, don't it? Hmm. We squared this trailer, but it looks like a little square up here. Might need to. It's okay though. We can. Uh, what I can do is I can make a cut up here to bring that so that this fits up in here. There's one reason I want to lay this on here. And then when I get back here, I can lay this down on there as far as it'll go and measure it from underneath. I think I'm also going to want to flip this piece of plywood over so that uh, the warp, it's a little bit of a warp. I like the warp to be warped up in the middle instead of down. I believe I can get under here with my pencil, make a mark right across the front. It'd give me the right place to cut it. I'll probably do about the same thing back here. I'm gonna run back yonder and get my saw. So that fits right down inside of that. Mm, maybe not completely perfect, there's a little air gap, but you may remember the other day I welded these pieces in here. So this is a cross piece here, and here, and here, and here, so that I can bolt that down. And this will be flat with the metal of the trailer. I can snip these little babies off if I want to. I can leave these ones on it because I could see where you could put a uh, use that for a pocket and put a rail around the edge of this. Uh, in fact, what I could do, I've got another one of these back there. I could cut it, take the insides out, leave the back open, and uh, have it where it would kind of sit on top of that. In fact, what I could do is flip it over so that each one of those ties into each one of those and then uh, have it with a pin in it where I could pull it off there should I ever want to. That way if you ever wanted to run a yard tractor up on there or something like that you have a little something to keep it from going over the edge. I like that. I like it real good. Now what I need to do is paint this and I want to paint that one too. 
I've yet to quite decide where I might want to paint it, but I might want to just paint it right in here. Uh, ideally, I've got some sawhorses down there, and if I can get them loose, I could bring the sawhorses up here and lean these on those two sawhorses. Put a little bit of uh, uh, cardboard under the bottom and paint them right there. Wouldn't it? I love these old cars.